Kurdish forces have detained an apparent American ISIS defector as he tried to make his way back to Turkey. Where are you from? The United States. Mm -hmm. Kurdish officials have identified the 27-year-old as Virginia resident Mohammed Jamal Amin. Video shows him surrendering to troops in northern Iraq. Margaret, what are U.S. authorities saying about him? Well, they're pretty constrained in what they can officially say because they haven't had access to him just yet. He is in uh, Kurdish, uh, the possession of Kurdish authorities in their custody right now. And what they need to do is to get diplomats from that U.S. consulate in uh, Erbil, in that northern part of Iraq, to get permission to go in and see him. You can imagine there's a lot of interest in debriefing him, finding out what he knows. Uh, on the diplomatic side of things, the question is what happens next? And from what I'm hearing so far, it sounds like uh, Mohammed Jamal Amin may not be coming back to the United States. He may actually face trial in Kurdistan, perhaps not face extradition to the U.S. So that question of where he ends up and what sentence he may face, uh, the State Department said, you know, you join a terrorist group, we still consider you a terrorist. Terrorist. Uh, his legal status sounds like, you know, he's going to remain behind bars in Kurdistan um, and certainly get debriefed. But they have not said just yet what the plan is um, as far as whether he could provide usable intelligence or whether he is simply running from the battlefield. Holly, what do we know about the circumstances of his surrender? Well, we spoke uh, with one of the, the Kurdish officers um, who said that uh, he spoke with his U.S. citizen shortly after he was taken into uh, Kurdish custody. And I can tell you what he said to us. He said that uh, uh, Muhammad Jamal Amin uh, first appeared in no man's land uh, near Sinjar. Um, yesterday evening. Um, he was spotted by the Kurdish fighters. Um, they apparently fired warning shots over his head, uh, perhaps assuming that he was an ISIS suicide bomber or an ISIS fighter. Um, and then early this morning, around 5 a.m. local time, uh, he surrendered across the front line. Now, what that officer has told us is that he was carrying around $4,000 U.S. dollars in cash, uh, uh, three telephones, a driving license, a credit card. And, and the fact that he was in possession of those things certainly suggested to the, the Kurdish troops uh, that he was uh, intentionally surrendering and, and trying to get out of the war zone. Mm, wow, a lot of questions raised by that. All right, we want to thank Margaret Brennan at the White House for us. Margaret, thank you.